Pickerel Fillet. Like many such small towns, this remote community has seen its cycle of boom and bust. Once, when the mine was rich with ore, the town was a bustling center of activity. The promise of gold lured workers and visitors from far and wide, swelling the population. But now, with the mine closed, Pickerel Fillet is quiet, isolated. Its only resource, the forest landscape, which feeds the paper industry and tourism. Yes, the quiet splendor of outdoor life still draws some who seek escape from the tensions of city life. But Pickerel Fillet is largely a town forgotten by the world, sinking slowly back into its woody origins. Yet perhaps to eyes different from our own, this little community has attractions we can't even imagine. The object's trajectory was from the northwest, coming in low over the trees. Either it had tremendous speed, creating a tree-smashing shockwave, or its drive produced a crushing downward force, possibly some kind of electromagnetic repeller system as yet unknown on our world. The object apparently used conventional rockets for braking and landing, burning the ground. These deep impressions indicate a support system similar to the spidery legs of NASA's lunar lander. This oil appears to have been ejected under pressure from a waste vent suspended several feet above the ground. Analysis has failed to identify the specific nature of the material. Thanks to Claus Polhouse, a quick-thinking amateur photographer, there are pictures to back up the wealth of physical evidence. Go ahead, Mr. Pullhouse. Pull hammer. Um, it was near sundown when I heard the noise. A uh, hell of a racket. Uh, sounded like a jet coming down back of the house. So I grab my camera and I run out because I hear a good picture of a disaster can fetch a good price. So, like I said, it was coming in low over the trees. Big and glowing round like a beach ball and had a, a row of a latch like windows around the middle and then these feet dropped down around the bottom and then it dropped out of sight uh, over the ridge behind the house i'd have gotten more pictures but it was the bottom of the ninth and the expos had two men on base there are skeptics who discount the evidence of the landing and who scoff at mr polehouse's testimony Look, all I can say is consider the source. Pole Hammer, he's always seen things. It's probably just one of them Russian satellites coming down again or something. They, they're trying to keep it quiet this time because all the fuss about the last one. Gas. That's all it was. A warm damp night and a little spot gas. <laughs> Pickerel Fillet is a community divided by the intrusion of the inexplicable into its well-ordered life. One man with good reason to believe is Mr. Schinkel, a prospector. We came home uh, from a good walk on the claim. Uh, then we heard something noisy, noisy. Uh, a slug was heard like a bear. Uh, we stopped, we looked around. Don we saw it. Big like this. I run home for my camera. I go back so fast as I could. I got one picture. And I could get another picture from Tekka. Out of them, too bad. The 
witnesses help us to trace the visitor's path. So far, lab tests have been singularly uninformative about what was contained in the packaging which litters the site. Even the most advanced techniques have come up mysteriously empty. Foodstuffs imported from another world? Moving beyond these intangibles, we find that the steadily accumulating evidence climaxes in what is surely the most conclusive piece of the puzzle yet. Stress analysis of the boards indicates a weight in excess of 300 pounds. We have recovered from the top layer of the humus a remarkable array of disparate samples, seemingly incompatible with each other, yet undeniably located on the same stratum. Extraterrestrial excrement? What else could it be? Mrs. Schinkel, community health worker. The stool has a story to tell if we only know how to listen. The size, the shape, the color, they all tell of the previous owner. Their health, their diet. And their origins, perhaps? The variety of sizes and varying composition of the samples indicates conclusively a body type and metabolism totally unlike anything known to human science. A creature with a complex, multiple digestive system adapted for any potential planetary condition. In a word, alien. Could this humble sight be the key to the stars? Who are they, these anonymous visitors? Interplanetary tourists pausing on a long vacation trip for a roadside picnic? Intergalactic truckers making an emergency rest stop just passing by? Or will they be back?